What's up, guys? It's Quinn. It's Alex. It's Iconic Comic. We're back, and we're ready to react to Steve Rogers' I'll Be There. I'll Be There. <laughs> this is the uh, same guy who's been doing the last couple of videos we've watched. Uh, one about, we just watched with Thor, uh, and we did one about Tony Stark. It's like these little, you know, kind of compilation videos, but it's kind of a little character piece in itself, yeah. all of them. It's like a recap. Let's just watch it. <laughs> Alright, stop. <laughs> Three, two, one. Jesus. You good? I yeah. went under. The world was at war. When I wake up, they say we won. They didn't say we lost. And the energy signature stops here. Just keep I love that shot. Steve. Steve. Mm. The serum amplifies everything that is inside, so good becomes great, bad becomes worse. The story of Captain America is one of honor, bravery, and sacrifice. To the captain. I love that. Like, everybody's partying. He was great in that first Stanley movie. Stanley Tucci's was good. great in that first movie. Compassion. 70 years ago, you laid down your life to save how many millions of people. Tell me, why is this any different? That look It wasn't your fault. He's good at it. <laughs> he does a lot. When the war till I get there. Did you read the report? Yes. Then you know that's not true. You know, you may not be a threat, but you better stop pretending to be a hero. A hero? Like, like you? you? You're a laboratory experiment, Rogers. Everything special about you came out of a bottle. Ooh. <laughs> God damn these videos. <laughs> damn it. Are you ready for our dance? You know, I still don't know how to dance. Fuck out of here. <laughs> we can go home. For as long as I can remember, I just wanted to do what was right. Imagine it. Guess I'm not quite sure what that is anymore. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off. What are you? You're not the guy to make the sacrifice play? To lay down on a wire and let the other guy crawl over you? Protection. Is that how you see this? This is protection? I'm doing what has to be done. I'm trying to keep... I'm trying to keep you from tearing the Avengers apart. Even when I had nothing to do, Bucky. Fuck. Pick on someone your own size. Best friends since childhood. Bucky Barnes and Stephen Rogers were inseparable on both schoolyard and battlefield. Bar. Both schoolyard and battlefield. I never heard that. That's awesome. In service of this country yard. He's my friend. So was I. Oh, God. Jerk. You're my mission. Then finish it. Then finish it. Because I'm with you to the end of the line. Oh. You know how much that pained him to do that? <laughs> I promise you, if you need us, if you need me. I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be there. What do we do, Cap? We fight. <laughs> oh boy. Isn't that the mission? Isn't that the why we fight so we can end the fight so we get to go home? I gotta put her in the water. <laughs> oh, it's gotta end with that. <laughs> this guy's still alive. Steve? Fuck. Fuck. The world has changed. 
none of us can cope now. All we can do is our best. And sometimes the best that we can do is to start over. Simple life. You could do it. I don't know. Family. Stability. The guy who wanted all that went in the ice. Ah, oh, this is heavy as shit. <laughs> Go, Jack. <laughs> There's enough room on this door for both of us. Oh, oh God. God. That made me sweat too. I know. <laughs> Jeez. Seriously, <laughs> like that one scene in Ultron where they're like going through like their fears and their mm -hmm. visions, and the last thing in that dance hall thing is him turning around and the whole place is empty. That's why he needs Bucky because he feels so goddamn alone in this world that he's out of time. Like he's, I mean, he has friends in the Avengers, but he is so alone. Because he's the only one from that time. So it's like Buck is that last connection. That's why immediately after that shot, they showed him with Bucky. He's, he's the only one that can connect him that way. Dude, I don't... Fuck DC. You, uh, you, you just... You really get a sense of what they really... Cause, like, we, we know what they've been through. Because we've seen all the movies. But when it's focused like that, you really get a sense for what they've actually been through. This guy can cut... Yeah, a video um, together. Make sure you go subscribe to this guy. Um, <coughs> the and I don't just mean I say fuck DC. I'm like obviously I'm a huge DC fan. I love DC, but it's when they change their characters is that's what I what I don't like. You know, because Superman was having the super no <laughs> sorry was having this really good arc. You know, being this alien feeling alone, feeling isolated or whatever, and then it seems like in Justice League they kind of just threw that away, just to have him come in and be like I'm but Superman. I, but I do know a lot about justice. Wink. Do you though? And then like Batman Batman obviously has probably the best arc in all of DC, but just he's this grizzled war, war weary Batman, and then all of a sudden in Justice League, he's a joke. He's just making jokes, and it's like it doesn't matter how you get a character from point A to point B because the cap that we started with is not the cap we have now. The Tony we started with is not the Tony we have now. But it's abrupt changes to characters that don't have any meaning is what I don't like. You know what I mean? But if you have an arc and it builds and changes like Thor, you know, he started off as this just brute god, you know, pouty child, that, that whole deal, ignorant, and then now... Like, I could see him on the throne of Asgard. Well, what's left of Asgard? <laughs> you see how excited he gets? <laughs> Let us know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. So you guys don't miss a single thing from the channel. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Stay iconic. And cue music. Holy grail.